survive, sis. Still healing the sick. Still raising the dead. Still opening blinded eyes. He still provides. Still working miracles. Just like before, God is still doing what God does. God is still doing what God does. Still healing the sick, still raising the dead, still open. He's still, he's still, still, still working miracles, still working miracles. Just, like, just like before. Oh, God, God is still, still doing, doing what God, what God, God is still doing. God is still doing yeah, what God does. He's still. Making a way out of no way, he still hears and surprise. He's still breaking chains, setting up captive. God is still doing what only He can do. Can't nobody, can't nobody do what God can do. Oh, Woo. hey, still still raising the dead, still open blinded eyes. He still provides, still working miracles. Hey. Just like before, God is still doing, oh yes, what God does, God is still doing, yes he is, what God does, God is still doing, still doing what he does, yes he is, he's making a way out of no way. Healing the sick for body. Hey, God. Hey, he's still doing it. Give him some praise. Come on. He's still breaking away out of nowhere. God is still doing what God does. Hallelujah. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. He's still doing. Say, still doing what God does. God is still doing. What God does, God is still doing. What God does, God is still doing. What God does. Come on, give God some praise, amen. Hallelujah, say God is still doing. What God does, we stand on your feet, hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this chance to worship you, this opportunity we have to worship one more time. In spirit and truth, thank you for the power, Lord God, of your presence. Thank you for the joy that's in your presence. Lord God, at your right hand, there are pleasures evermore to summon David right, Father. And in your presence is the fullness of joy. And Lord, we thank you, Lord God, for the opportunity to receive your word and to be able to preach the good news of Jesus Christ. Make your word real and relate to it, but your word is the good news, Lord God. It's the incorruptible seed. Whether we live without it, we die. Let it be, Lord God, a relevant word. Let the word become rhema, a right now word today. Now, Father, let your word also become radical. Change me that I may change my situation. Let a revolution begin in me. They may impact my community, my city, my world. Lord God, let me speak with clarity. Let me slow down and hears me understand what I'm saying. Because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Amen. Give God some praise. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. I'm excited about Jesus. How many excited about Jesus? We're in the cup. Say in the covenant. 
Jennifer, we're in the covenant. I think we're sermon number three. I'm a right sister Vanessa, sermon number three. Amen. Genesis the 12th chapter. Genesis 12. Verses 1 to 4. Genesis 15. We'll look at that a little bit. Then we'll look at um, Ephesians 1. Now the Lord has said to Abram, get out of your country, from your family and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and ye shall be a blessing. I'll bless those who bless you. I will curse him who curses you. And then you all the families of the earth shall be blessed. So Abram departed as the Lord had spoken to him, and Lot went with him. And Abram was 75 years old when he departed from Haran. Genesis 15. Genesis 15, real quick. Also, we'll come back to the 17th chapter, but we're not going to do it right now. We'll come back later to the sermon. Genesis 15 and 1. Genesis 15 and 1. And after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram the vision, saying, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceeding great reward. Let me say it again. And after these things, the word of the Lord came to Abram the vision, said, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceeding great reward. Gen Galatians 3. That's the one I was skipping in my mind. Galatians 3. All right. Galatians 3, so you could, after I read these, then when I refer to them in the sermon, you know what they're at. Galatians 3, verse uh, 13 and 14. Galatians 3, 13 and 14. Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law, having become a curse for us, that for it is written, curse is everyone who hangs on a tree, that the blessing of Abraham might come upon the Gentiles to Christ Jesus to whom I received a promise of the Spirit through faith. Ephesians 1, verse 3. Ephesians 1, verse 3, and you have a seat. Blessed be the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Let me read again. Blessed be the God and Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places in Christ. Can you say in the covenant? Say bless to be a blessing. Say I'm blessed to be a blessing. I'm blessed to be a blessing. Let me have a seat. I'm blessed to be a blessing. As I told you, as we talk about in the covenant, I'm going to keep showing you in the Old Testament the type and shadow that's pointing to the New Testament. I'm showing you in the Old Covenant what we're actually living in the New Covenant. Now I want to pull out a, a disclaimer this morning. <clears throat> when we say Old Covenant, we're often referring to the law of Moses. But this morning I'm going to take you on a journey that we're going to take for maybe two or three weeks in which I show you that before the law was enacted, covenant was already by faith. So the covenant by faith. Because Abraham came before Moses. Because of the disbelief of God's people after 400 years of slavery. They had to have to live by the law because they no longer walked or lived by faith. So as I show you Abraham, Abraham is a full-blown picture of walking with God without Christ but by faith. But when we receive Christ, we receive him by faith as Abraham received the promise by faith. Say the promise by faith. Abraham was 75 years old. God told him, get up out your father's house. I'm going to show you land that I have for you you've never seen. And I'm going to build, I want you to look for a city as Hebrews 11 tells us later, whose builder and maker is God. Follow me. Walk with me. 
going to bless you and make you a blessing. Here's what we misunderstand. The benefits of God, we think, are the blessings. But the benefits are not the blessings. The blessings is a state of being. In other words, you're blessed before you even get the benefits. I got a blessing. What you got? I got some money. No, that's a benefit of walking with God or God showering upon you the benefits that he have for you. But you're blessed if you're broke, if you're walking with him, if you if you believe in him. You're blessed when you're sick before you get the healing. Because the blessing is a state of being. You're either cursed or blessed. I'm either cursed or blessed. There's no in-between. You're either cursed or blessed. And the curse of sin will leave you outside of the blessing. But believing in God, come on, take you out of the cursing and put you in the blessing. And you're not just blessed for yourself. That's why the title says, I'm blessed. Say, I'm blessed to be a blessing. He told Abraham. He says, Abraham, Genesis 12, verse Three, let me see what it says. I will look at this. Look at look at look at the second word. I'll make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Say I'm blessed, and I'm a blessing to someone else. Hmm. The blessing is walking with God. Believing and following him, obeying him, receiving who he is in you, and then you could bless somebody else. There's so many believers who don't understand that we ought to be a blessing to someone else. Because we've made the benefits the blessing. And so give me, give me, give me. I want, I want, I want. I'm naming, claiming. I want it, I want it. Now it's for me. It's mine. It's mine. Yeah, it is yours, but how are you going to use it for someone else? Say bless to be a blessing. And Abraham began to follow God. His name was Abram. So Abram. The word Abram means father, but he had no children. Now, I'm going in, I'm, I'm leaking into two or three sermons because I'm going to talk about faith with Abraham. But God will call you or you are before you ever realize it. Say, God will call me who I am before you ever realize who I am. God will call you father, you have no children. God will call you blessed, and you yet have not even realized or understood what the blessing is. Come on, God called him Abram. Your name is Abram, father. You have no children. And his wife's name was Sarah, meaning princess. They began to follow God. And as they followed God, watch this. In the 15th chapter, God came to a vision and says, Do not be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceeding great reward. Watch this. Pastor, I live a life in which everything around me is coming at me. Look like everything is turning upside down, inside out. I have emotional issues. I have financial situations. I have physical stuff. I have, I have stuff I'm dealing with in my, that I can't even talk about. But God says, when you understand that you're blessed, he is our shield. So he is my shield and my exceeding great reward. Come on, say my shield. Say he is my shield and my exceeding great see the reward is not the things you get say god is my reward my relationship with god is my reward my walk with god is my reward my understanding of god is my reward say he is my shield and my exceeding say exceeding great reward good god am i quit looking for things and look for him Quit looking for the results of what you want to get to and say, am I already with you? Say, he is my shield and my exceeding great reward. The devil's coming at you, trying to destroy you. Come on. Life is trying to take you out. Your own self will mess yourself up. See, because we have a sin nature, you'll mess yourself up. But say, but he is my shield. He'll shield me from myself. He'll shield me from life and from the devil and you too. Say, he is my shield and my exceeding great reward. Exceeding great. Be, come on, say exceeding. He goes beyond. Say, goes beyond my expectations. Go beyond of what I'm feeling. Go beyond of what they told me. Go beyond of what I think I can have. Say, he is my exceeding great reward. Good God Almighty. 
See, look, look, quit looking at life from the bottom up and looking from the top down. Quit looking at the, the glass half empty. Come on, look at it half full. Say, he is my exceeding great reward. I, hey, devil, you can lie to me all day long. Come on, you could mind, you could try to mess with me all night long. I, body, you could be sick all week long. But he is uh, my exceeding great reward. Say, exceeding great reward. Good God Almighty. Say, exceeding. Who go beyond my expectations? Go beyond what I can. That's why when you get over there and say, now unto him is able. You do it, come on, exceedingly abundantly. Above all, you can ask or think. According to the power, say the power. Just working in you, say it's in the covenant. Say it's in the covenant. Say the shield is in the covenant. Come on. Come on, the exceeding great reward is in the covenant. Say he is in. It's in the covenant. It's in the covenant. It's in the covenant. Come on, say it's in the covenant. It says in the paper, son. Come on, is it written in there? It says written in there. Because I'm going to say, I believe it and I know it. it says in the covenant. Mm. It's just one, just one, time. come to one, just one, just one verse, just one verse. Say just one verse in the Bible ought to set you off sometimes. And this one verse set me off. Every time I read it, he is my shield and my exceeding great reward. When I'm going through the troubles of life, when I'm going through the struggles of stuff, when I'm going through darts being shot at me, when I'm going through, I want to give up and give in. Say he is my shield and my exceeding great reward. We told him. He said, I'm going to give you an heir. And Abraham said, wait a minute. Yeah, I don't have no children. Shall Eliz Eliz Elizar be my heir? He said, no, he said, it's going to come from you. He said, God said, whatever God has for me, come on, say, it's not coming from somebody else. He said, it's coming out of me. He created me with potential. He created me with purpose. He created me whatever I, with provision and whatever I'm going to get. He it said, it's coming out of me. He said, your seed is coming out of you, Abel, and I'm going to bless you. He said, he called him a father before he even had any children. Say it's coming, say it's coming. Say it's coming out of me. Say it's coming out of me. Huh? It's coming out of what God put in me. Huh? He created me specifically for me, huh? for himself. I'm the only one that looks like me, or one that thinks like me, talks like me, and acts like me. All one got my own DNA and all my good stuff, bad stuff, ugly, pretty, and everything in between. I said, but it's coming, so it's coming out of me. Because he is my shield and my exceeding great reward. And as long as I wake up with breath in my body, I open my eyes and see I have activity in my brain. I say he can use me, do whatever he want to do with me. It's coming, it's coming out of me. You ought to believe that it's in the coming. It says it's coming out of me. Uh, it's not coming out of so quit looking for somebody else to bless you. Quit looking for somebody else to get you set up. Quit looking for somebody else to give you something. Don't look for the hookup. Uh, you already got it. Uh, it says in you, it says in me, it says in me. So we're gonna give God some praise. It says in me, it says in me already. Ah, it says in me already, it says in me already. Amen. Ah, oh, they got out of control already. It says in me. Says in me. Uh, so he said, You're gonna have your own child. Now, 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 wait a minute. Wait, say, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Abram got excited. Says in me, says in me. And uh Sarah wasn't having no children. But Abram said, It's in me. <laughs> Sarah said, Well, it's in you, baby. Go ahead on the head and get it out of you. Ah, uh, grown folk talk, say grown folk talk. Get it out of you, huh? <laughs> y'all gotta walk with me. Huh? Y'all caught that already? Yeah, go ahead and 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 and, 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 and read the Bible. The, the, read the Bible, the 16th chapter, and they messed around there and let Hagar get pregnant. They messed around there. They messed around there and let that happen. Yeah, let it happen. Yeah, and 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 and, and it was all good. It was all good until the baby came. And now Abraham gotta bring milk to Hagar. And rub Hagar's feet, and 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 change uh, change. They didn't have no diapers, whatever. Change his diapers, you know, Ishmael diapers. We know what I'm talking about. And and and, and Sarah said, "Ah, uh -uh, they got to go. Put her out. Put her out. Put her out." And God said, "They run. Nah, you can. Nah, nah, nah. What I told you was in you, but you did it your way. You didn't stay in the covenant. You did it your way. But since you did it your way, you got to hang on to that right now." Don't, what I'm gonna say, watch this. Say whatever. Say whatever. 
mistakes you make in your life, he's going to have to hang on to it, but it don't mean that you, you, don't mean you disqualified from the covenant. Say, I'm not disqualified from the covenant. Abram is still in the covenant. He just got to deal with Ishmael. Say, deal with Ishmael. You have to deal with him. God said, no, 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 no. Keep your smell. Told him to go back. They went out there and, you, and they were about to die. And he said, no, no, go back, go back. Abram, take him. Abram? No, his name was Abram. Say, still Abram. Say, Abram. He said, you got to keep him. Got to keep Got to keep your smell. And he got to the 17th chapter. Say, he got to the 17th chapter. And say, he's in the covenant. Say, bless to be the blessed. And when Abram was 99 years old, he had Ishmael was 86. He started walking with God when he was 75. Had Ishmael was 86. And God let that foolishness go on for 13 years. He was 99 years old. The Lord said, appeared to Abram and said, I am Almighty God. Walk before me and be blameless. I will make my covenant, say it's in the covenant, between me and you and will multiply you exceedingly. God says, you can't change. Let me tell you something. No man can change what God already has for you. You can't even change what God has for you. You just got to be able to walk and believe. Say, believe. Because what God has for you, say, it is for you. He said, I, I'm, no, 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 no. I didn't want this Ishmael stuff. I told you I'm going to give you a seed. Now walk before me, and I will multiply. And Abram fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, for, as for me, behold, my covenant between you, and you shall be the father of many nations. I no longer shall no longer shall your name be Abram, but your name shall be Abraham, for I made you the father of many nations. Say before God, say before God, take it back. Say before God, takes it back. He'll add more to it. Says so in the covenant. He said, No, nah, Abram means father. You got a son named Ishmael, but I didn't ordain that. But now I'm gonna call you the father of many nations. I'm gonna multiply you. You're gonna have Ishmael and I. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to make you the father of many nations. Say the father of many nations. I will make you exceedingly fruitful. I will make nations of you and kings shall come from you. I will establish my covenant between me and your descendants after you and your generation. For the everlasting come to be God to you and your descendants after you. Hmm. And he went on to talk about how they need to circumcise himself. On the eighth day the child is born. And then he said in the 15th verse, as for Sarah, you should no longer call her Sarah. She no longer should be called princess, but call her Sarah, which means mother. And I will bless her. Say, bless her. Say, come on, say, come on, say, come on, say, equal or say, equal. Say, God blesses men and women. I will bless her and also give her a son by her. And I will bless her. She shall be the mother of nations and kings of people. She'll come from her. Tell me, say, it's in the covenant. God says, I'll multiply you. And make it the father, say the father of many nations. And you know what happens. I got to come back to it in another sermon when we talk about the faith of all this. Even Abraham and Sarah, after hearing that, still didn't really believe. But God caused them to believe. Say God made them. Say God made them believe. He said, I'm going to bless you and make you a blessing. I'm going to multiply you exceeding. Now before I take it back. You didn't disqualify. I will make you the father of many nations. And now you're Sarah, who gave, see, Sarah's the one who told him to go. Sarah said, hey, go over there. Hey, go. See, you follow her, but don't you need to follow me. See, follow God. Say, don't follow man, follow God. But now I'm going to bless her and call her the mother of many nations. Tell her, say, Old Covenant. Say, Old Covenant. Say, Old Testament. Pastor, what does it have to do with me on May the 21st, 2023? Except that you get excited, and I'm glad I'm excited too. That I'm blessed to be a blessing. He's my shield, my exceeding great reward. But what? How does it have anything to do? How do we get to that point that Abraham had? God not didn't come out to heaven and talk to me face to face like he did with Abraham. How does it get to me? I'm glad you asked. Galatians, the third chapter, tells us how. Paul says this in Psalm 87. It says, "Cursed is he who hangs on a tree." That's why Paul said in Corinthians, through the foolishness of the priest of the cross, folk are saved. Jesus could die no other way but on a tree. They couldn't behead him. They couldn't stone him. They couldn't drown him. They couldn't stab him. They had to hang him on a tree. Watch this. Say, God is in control of everything, in control of everything. 
So even in history, watch this, God allowed the Jews to become captive by the Romans so that when the crucifixion, when the death of Jesus come, it has to be gone like Roman death. And the Roman death is a what? Crucifixion. See? If it's the Medes and the Persians, they had to chop his head off. If it's some other nation, they'd have done something else to him. But when the Romans come in, they're gonna hang you on a tree. Why does Jesus have to be hanged on a tree? Because curse is he. Say, curse is he who hangs on a tree. You either curse, say I'm either curse, or I'm blessed. Watch this. Jesus had no sin in him, became sin for us. He became the curse so that you and I who have sinned can become blessed. Tell them say he reversed the curse. Oh, he reversed the curse. Look at Galatians 3. Look at Galatians 3. We read it while you were standing up, but look at it. I want to, I'm going to, just cause pastor talking about it, you got to make sure it's in the Bible. Don't let me tell you anything that's not in the Bible. Say, go to a Bible teaching church. Find a Bible, say a Bible teaching church. Galatians 3, uh huh, watch this. Verse 13 Christ has redeemed us, say Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. Here's what happened. After Abraham, generations of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Joseph, his brothers, end up in Egypt. Then 400 years, they end up in slavery. Hmm, sound familiar? Nothing new on the sun. When they come out, they got so much slave mentality, they can't walk by faith like Abraham. They're going back to the land Abraham had. They can't walk by faith. Moses had to get up in two, two times, get the tablets. Because the first time he came out of the law, it was down there doing everything the law said don't do. And Moses got mad and broke and stuff. And the Bible said Moses was the meekest man to ever lived. That's how bad those people were. Moses missed the promise land behind him. He was the meekest man to ever lived. He missed the promise land behind because the million people acting the food. You can't take one person acting the food. Now we can't take two people acting the food. I have 10 people that I've supervised. I can't handle them. Come on, he had a million people dealing with. How you know? 660,000 soldiers before you had the women and children and other people. A million people acting the food. So they had to live by the law. The law was passed down generation to generation. Gener not 10 commandments, 1,000, I mean, 605 commandments, 1,300 something edicts and regulations is now. Right now, some people broke everything. You eat pork, you eat shrimp. The women are out during that time of the month. Y'all broke, we broke all of it. But I'm living on it. Lord, I want to keep the Ten Commandments. No, you can't. Curse of the law. Say the curse of the law. But then comes Christ. Say then comes Christ. And Christ redeemed. The word redeems means he paid. Say he paid. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin and left the crimson stain. He washes white as snow. Just one drop of blood. I don't know how many millions of dollars that cost. Say one drop for billions and billions. There's room at the cross for you. Go be the come. There's still room for just one. There's room at the cross. He redeemed us. He redeemed us from the curse of the law. How? Because the Bible says, because having become the curse for us he became the curse for us curse is everyone who hangs on a tree oh if he became the curse what do we become look at the next verse that the blessing said the blessing of abraham might come upon the gentiles now you're a gentile yes you are you because you're not a hebrew that the blessing may come on the gentiles in christ jesus that we might receive the promise of the spirit Tell you, say, I'm blessed because of Jesus Christ. Nothing good I've done. Nothing good I've done. No good moral living. No good thinking. No good deeds. No religious come on, connections. No church membership. Nothing. Because Christ, and only Christ, is what redeemed me. I don't care how long you've been in the church. How long your name been on roll? How many generations your family been in? I don't care what you done done, or so much money you done gave. I don't care how many times I preached a sermon. I don't care how many little prayers you prayed. The only reason why you've been redeemed is because Christ, said Christ, redeemed us from the curse. If you're just a nobody, I love to keep on coming that one. 
Come on, just a nobody, say nobody. Trying to tell everybody on a sidewalk huh, of a street about somebody who could save anybody. you still been redeemed from the curse. Uh, whether you're a king, uh, whether you're a poor person, whether you're living over there across that wall in them trees, uh, if you've been redeemed, uh, say it's because of the curse, be re if Christ will pay, you redeemed from the curse. So I've been redeemed from the curse and that the blessing, say the blessing of Abraham might be on us. Now watch this. This is where I want to close. Ephesians 1 now makes sense to me. When I get to Ephesians 1, he says the third verse, Blessed be the God of our Lord Jesus Christ. Come on, say, who want to bless God? Come on, say, I need to bless God. Watch this. How many want to bless him from God? How many want to bless him from God? How many know you're already a blessing from God? Right? Well, then why don't you want to, come on, say, we ought to bless God. Say, bless God. Say, bless God. That's why you shout with your mouth and bless God. That's why you lift your hands and bless God. That's why Pastor Riggins tries to sing and bless God. I try to hit that note. That's why, that's why you, come on, that's why I dance and bless God. That's why I holler every now and then and bless God. That's why tears run down your face and bless God. That's why you clap your hands and bless God. That's why you tell somebody, I'm going to bless the Lord on my soul. And all within me, bless his holy name. Say, you want God to bless you? Why don't you bless God? Say bless God. Say bless him. Huh? Say bless him huh? with every breath within your body. Bless him with every, come on, strength within yourself. Huh? Bless him with every way you can do it. Huh? So I'm going to bless the Lord. Oh my soul. Say bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless him. I'm going to bless him coming in. Bless him going out. Huh? Bless him in the morning. Huh? Bless him in the noontime. Huh? Bless him in the evening. Huh? I'm going to bless the Lord at all times. Huh? When I'm happy, I'm going to bless him. When I'm sad, I'm going to bless him. When I'm mad, I'm going to bless him. When I'm upset, I'm going to bless him. When I don't understand, I'm going to bless him. When I'm sick, I'm going to bless him. When I'm well, I'm going to bless him. When I'm up, I'm going to bless him. When I'm down, I'm going to bless the Lord. I'm going to bless the Lord at all time. Blessed be the God, our Father, of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm going to bless him. I ain't got no money in my pocket. I'm going to bless him. I think I'm sitting up high. I'm going to bless him, bless him, bless him. Say, you ought to bless the Lord. Say, bless him. Come on, bless him, bless him. So it's in the covenant. Uh, it's in the covenant. So I got to bless him. Uh, woo! Say bless him. Say bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Bless be the Lord our God. Bless be the Lord the God of our Father, Jesus Christ, who has blessed us. Say blessed us with every spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. This is where I close. Whatever you need, say whatever I need, I've already got it. He's come on some already. Come already. Bless. He has blessed us, E.D. Say, blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. Pastor, then make it make sense to me. Come on, say, I already got what I need, who I am, and what God has for me in heavenly places. My thing is to get from heaven to come down to earth. That's why I bless God, so I can bring the blessing down to my location. So I'm going to move my blessing into my situation. I'm going to move my blessing into my sickness. I'm going to move my blessing into my, come on, financial issue. I'm going to move my blessing into my struggle. I'm going to move my blessing into my, come on, my strife. I'm going to move my blessing all up in my life. So the devil can't curse me because I'm already... I'm already blessed. I'm blessed like that. Say, God's got a blessing, and my name's already on it. God's got a blessing. My situation already fixed. God's got a blessing. But says in the covenant, says in the covenant. And watch this. Say, because I'm blessed, I'm going to bless somebody else. Say, don't get too close to me, because you might get a blessing. Hey, so don't get in my space because I'm blessed to bless somebody else. I'm going to bless you because God done bless me. Say, so I'm going to bless you. So bless you because God bless you. Amen? Say, so I'm going to bless you. Well, I don't want to get my water. So I'm going to bless him. Bless him. Bless him. Say, bless him. Oh, so the preacher got too happy. Say, bless him. God bless you. Say, God done already. Say, God done already. Bless me. So I'm going to bless you. Yes, I'm going to bless you. 
Come on, it's around. Come on, say, lift your hands up and give God some praise because the blessing's coming down. God lives in the praises of his people, uh, and what's in the heavenly realms uh, is going to come down to earth uh, in my life. Uh, hey, say, blessing. Uh, say, I'm blessed like that. Uh, I'm blessed like that. Ooh, we uh, another blessing. Uh, Ooh wee, another blessing. I wake up in the morning. Ooh wee, another blessing. I get to my job. Ooh wee, that's a song. Another blessing. I get back home. Ooh wee, say another blessing. Ah, say he gonna bless me like that. Come on, says already. Says already in the covenant. Say I'm blessed to be a blessing. Preacher, why y'all gotta get so loud and get so excited? Cause see, whatever they got going on in the world, they gonna pump it up. You spend your money to go to a party, so we're going to say we're going to party, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, I'm a trail rider. We go to Zydeco, they're going to Zydeco. They're going to ride hard, they're going to ride horses. Uh, if you go to a baseball game, y'all want to hit the home run. I want to knock it all the way out to the juice juice box, they call it. Uh-huh, when they hit a three-pointer and they get fouled on, you get four points. Oh, they're going crazy. But when you get in the church house, well, I'm just so happy to be here. I'm waiting to go to heaven. No, so I'm going to bless the Lord uh, and make some noise uh, and bring my blessing down. Uh, that when I leave this house, uh, my blessing going to go with me to my house. Uh, my blessing going go with me in the street. Uh, my blessing going to go with me. Wherever I go, I, I got blessing with me. I'm a bless somebody else. Say bless somebody else. Give God some praise. Say I'm blessed to be a blessing. Tell I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be a blessing. I'm blessed with every spiritual blessing. God, because every say every spiritual blessing. Folk think blessing is the things we have. No, that's benefits. I'm blessed with peace. I'm blessed with joy. I'm blessed with hope. I'm blessed with deliverance. I'm blessed with anointing. I'm blessed with power. I'm blessed with love. I'm blessed, come on, with miracles. I'm blessed with the move of God. Say every. Spiritual blessing. Ah, so every spiritual blessing is coming into my life. And all the benefits are just the side things I got. Say, I'm already, say, already. I'm already blessed. Come on, give God some praise. Say, already, already blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm already blessed. Mm. You watching live archive by Facebook? See the red freckle face preacher. It's because I'm talking about Jesus Christ. I'm talking about a life that you can live beyond your situation. Live beyond your sin. Live beyond your past. Live beyond your hurt and abuse. And get to know how it is to be blessed. If you don't know Jesus, you're Savior. It's simple as this. If you confess your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ. You watch a live archive right now. You confess your mouth to the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised from the dead. You will be saved. Pray this prayer, Father. I thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who died for a sinner like me. Gave his life on Calvary. Became the curse. Now that we come to bless him and receive the blessing. I believe that God raised him from the dead. I ask Jesus to come into my life and save me. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. It may take all night. We don't have to shake you all night. We don't have to try to get Jesus out of you. We don't have to try to get the demons, nothing like that. We just want you to be believer. By receiving, receiving Jesus Christ. Now, you have prayed this prayer and sincerely believe. Find your Bible teaching church. Did you become grow up in the things of God? Be on the north side of Houston. Come out to 6555 Mesa Drive. Houston, Texas, 77028. You're not even coming to Hope Church of God. We're here every Sunday morning, 11 a.m. for our worship, 930 hours Sunday school. If you don't want to come to this church, not in this area, whatever, 